Okay, so uh, I just finished sealing up some hoops. We got lots of hoops to get done for some builds we got going on. Uh, this is the wood room. Let's go see, check on Uncle Frank. Let's bother him. Let's go ahead and bother him. There's some stuff we got to do. This is where Uncle Frank spends most of his time, in the machine shop. Um, we build, we do all our research, development, design here at Spinelli Drums in this room for our products, our guide and slide tom mounts, bass drum spurs, throw off, lugs, everything. We got some CNC machines, a couple of mills here, lathes, drill presses, you know, everything that we need. And hey, there's Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank, you're on film. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? I didn't expect to see him smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. Walk up on him like that. <laughs> but hey. I'm, I'm uh, tapping out bass drum lugs. Oh, the bass drum lugs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're tapping out the end that gets attached to the hoops, not where the threads are. Yeah, not the tension rod side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. the, yeah, doing the, doing the rezo side. This the rezo. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, since people aren't really familiar with our stuff, we, we don't use bass drum claws on our bass drum heads, resonant batter side. We attach no. it to the hoop. And why do we do that? Uncle Frank? Well, it's a free-floating system, so in order for it to work properly and everything to move freely, it attaches straight through to the hoop. Yeah, so um, when, when we first started doing it, we did use the claws, but uh, when you kick a kick drum, they call it a kick drum for a reason, it gets lots of pressure, and the shell would rotate, the claws, you know, if you tuned it at a lower tension, the, the claws would slide and move. So we had to create a way that didn't really affect the sound of the bass drum itself. So we attached to the hoops and not to the shell. And now our bass drums will not rotate and the hoops won't rotate. And your heads won't rotate unless they're completely loose. Um, that's exactly so, what I was going to say now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he was going to say. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you got a jig made up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it just, it's its simple. I mean, simple. yeah. That's the I, way we like it. Yep, I, I slide the lug inside, and this is actually a, a tap press, and put a little, little lubricant on it, and just go to town, you know? Great. Slow and easy. Great. Um, hey, show them... What, do you have one put together over there? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Well actually here's one of okay. our mounts yes. that, it, that it mounts to the, to the hoop. Yep. Sorry, my hands are. Uh -huh. And then uh, this is... Oh, this there it is. is. Yeah, this is what there a... Is. So that's, that's basically that gets a finished attached product. To the hoop yep. with one screw. And we lock tight everything because we know they take a beating, the drums do. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. All right. And so that's an unfinished lug. Yeah, you're just these are all, it out first. Yep, yep. And then this it goes is, to whatever finishing process, either brushed, uh, uh, polished, or even uh, we can even powder coat things. Okay. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, what do I hear in the background? What are you playing? Um, music. Music. Oh, yeah. Moving pictures. That that was my clincher to rush. Amen. All right. Well, here's a little little tidbit about uh, Spinelli drums today. Thanks, Uncle Frank. You're welcome. It's man. Friday. We'll have a good weekend. Thank you. Bro. All right. Bye.